With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? We call this one Wet Beef and Dry Bones. It all started when California and I are returning from a trip into Mexico... We were riding through the broken country that lies east of Palo Verde in order to avoid Massacre Canyon. Steering clear of Massacre Canyon was California's idea. A lot of strange stories had sprung up about the canyon, and even though California wouldn't admit he believed them, he still couldn't see any sense in taking chances. You suppose any such thing could be true, Hoppy? Well, do you? Uh... I'm asking a question. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, California. Afraid I wasn't listening. I uh, know you wasn't. Doggone it. That's the way you are. Soon as you start talking, you start thinking about something else. <laughs> Self-protection, California. You keep it up and you'll be needing protection. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead, start over again. What was it you wanted to know? I, I was just asking all about them redskins that got massacred in Massacre Canyon, Hoppy. That's all. Uh, the way I hear it, uh, when a dark night comes, when there ain't no moon, them redskins come alive again and go whooping and hollering through the canyon. <laughs> you suppose there's any truth in it? I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Oh, just a lot of talk, of course. <laughs> I ain't swallowing any of that stuff, no sir. I, uh, but, uh, Hoppy, they say anybody sees them redskins don't never live to tell about it, uh, think there could be anything in that? Well, I've heard of lots of people who've uh, seen Indians and haven't lived to tell about it. Live Indians, naturally. I wouldn't know much about them after they've turned into ghosts. <laughs> Neither would I know. I don't know much about any ghosts, except there ain't a powerful lot of meat on them. <laughs> I, uh... Wait a second, California. Look ahead there. Hey, ain't that a female? That's Molly Enders, isn't it? I don't know. Who's Molly Enders? Oh, you know her. Dave Enders' wife. Dave's the deputy over at Palo Verde. Hey, he doing... what's she cutting away from the trail for? She's uh, trying to dodge it? Looks like it, doesn't it? But what for? I don't know. Probably mistook it for someone else. She, someone she's scared of? Oh, that's a thought, California. Could be. Suppose we ought to find out about it? Well, a friend of yours, ain't she? That's right. Let's head her off. I don't... See her, uh, where she got to? Get her down that draw. If we cut toward the other end, we should get there about the time she does. Get up, boy. Come on, Tyler. This way. With you, Hoppy. Keep her going. Who? Who, Tyler? Whoa, whoa, are you stabbing, Tyler? Whoa, there, whoa. California, I don't see her. She may have turned off. She certainly... Here I am. Where, where are you, my... Uh, right uh, behind these rocks. I've been waiting for you. What's the idea of the gun, Molly? Why, just the usual idea, Hoppy. I use it to shoot with. <laughs> Not at us, I hope. You can hope if you want to. But make one move you shouldn't. And you're going to feel real drafty. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Wet Beef and Dry Bones. When Hopalong Cassidy and California were riding the trail that lay between Palo Verde and Massacre Canyon, they not only met Molly Enders, but also met with a surprise. Molly was supposed to be their friend. Yet, now she stands with a gun pointed directly at Hopalong's middle. I mean business, Hoppy. I'm going to Massacre Canyon. Try to stop me and I'll shoot. We never intended to stop you, Molly. We thought you'd mistaken us for somebody else. No. You're serious? You're you're really going into the canyon? I have to. My husband's there. In Massacre Canyon? Golly, I wouldn't go there for all the cows in Texas. Dave left for the canyon a week ago. He went with Bob Travis. He was supposed to come back the next day. 
And no one's heard of them since. He's been gone a week? All right, Molly. What's so unusual about that? He's a deputy sheriff, isn't he? I imagine he's often gone longer than he expected. Yeah, but this time is different. This time he went to the canyon. I've heard stories about that canyon. Are you trying to tell me they're true? Look, if you lived in this valley, you'd know they're true, Hoppy. People go to the canyon and just disappear. Don't ask me why, they just disappear. <laughs> and dead Indians go howling up and down the canyon at night. That's true, too? You don't believe that, do you, Molly? I don't laugh at things the way I used to, Hoppy. Now I, I just wish Dave had never gone there, that's all. <laughs> all right, take it easy, Molly. You're not the kind to cry, and if we can help you, we will. You'll have to tell us more, though. Dave didn't go to the canyon without a reason. Did he tell you what it was? He said he thought the canyon was being used by rustlers. But you didn't believe him? How could I? There hasn't been any rustling around here. You sure of that? Of course I am. If there had been, I'd have heard of it. You know how cattlemen are. Miss two hairs off the tail of a notchier doggie, and they yell rustlers clear to the next county. They're always like that. Don't I know it. And besides, there's Bob Travers. The man who went with him? Yes. What about him? Well, he wouldn't have gone along if it wasn't something that interested him, would he? And I know he isn't missing any cattle. He's got more cows than grass right now. I see. So now you're worried. But why didn't you tell someone else about this and get help? I did. I told everyone. You think they'd help me? Ha, <laughs> nothing good one. They wouldn't have gone to the canyon if I'd paid them for it. Scared? Of course they were. They even tried to stop me from going. That's why I pulled this gun on you. I thought you were trying to do the same thing. Well, Molly, quit worrying about it. There's a reasonable explanation, I'm sure. California and I will try to find out what it is. Now, you better go home. We can... What is it, Molly? It's there. A horseman. What about him? Look at him. He sure looks beat up, Hoppy. Look at the way he's sitting that horse. Well, if he ain't careful, he's gonna... Whoop! There he goes. Tumble right off. Well, we'll have to see what's wrong with him. Who is he, Molly? You look as if you'd seen a ghost. Oh, maybe. Maybe I have. Who is he? Hoppy, that's Bob Travis. The man who went to Massacre Canyon with Dave. <laughs> Feel better now, Bob? A lot better, thanks, Molly. What else can you tell us about Dave? I think I've told you everything. It was the first night we camped in the canyon. One minute he wasn't but a few feet away from me, then I heard a yell and he was gone. I never saw him again. I looked all over for him, but he just disappeared. Bob, do you think he's dead? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Molly. But... Disappearing isn't the same as knowing a man's dead, is it? <gasps> no. Nah. I wouldn't say he's dead. Likely one of these days he'll be showing up again just as big as life. Oh, I'm praying for that. What happened to you? You look as if you'd had a bad time of it yourself. I'll tell you, but you won't believe me. No? What did happen? It was right after Dave disappeared. I got beat up and... I don't know who did it. Masked men? Neither one. Strangers? It was something that just picked me up and started throwing me around. Something I couldn't see. I couldn't even hit it. I'd swing, and it was just like swinging at air. And yet, well, this is what it did to me. Poppy, I reckon that there canyon's the finest place I ever heard tell of for us to stay out of. Quiet, no, California, to... quiet. Bob, I'm going to ask you a favor, a big favor. Molly's anxious about Dave. I promised to look for him. But I've heard that Massacre Canyon is a sizable place. Would you go back with us, show us where all this happened? Well, will you, Bob? When I left there, I swore I'd never go back. I don't blame you. But if you're going, I... You'll go with us. Yes, I will. Good, good. Uh, tell you what I'll do, Hoppy. You two go ahead. I'll ride to the bar 20 and hustle up some of the boys, and then we'll... Don't we'll... think we'll need them, California. You'll come with us. Uh, but... That's uh... definite. Definite? Definite. Oh, that's what I thought. But uh, can you blame a feller for trying? <laughs> Well, this is it, Hoppy. This is where we made camp and where Dave disappeared. Yeah. Uh, let's climb down and have a look before it gets too dark. Is this where you had the fight with your... Well, whatever it was. Right here. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's been a fight here. I sure don't like the looks of this canyon, Hoppy. Say, Bob, what's that way over there? Abandoned cliff dwellings. 
They were old when the Spaniards came through here. I'm feeling kind of old myself, looking at all the bones scattered around. Uh, must have made a big uh, die up here some winter. There was, California. Only it wasn't cattle. Uh, uh, they were a Pawnee war party. Cheyenne dog soldiers chased them in here and got them all. That's how the canyon got its name. <laughs> and these are the bones folks say rise up at night and go riding on the ghosts of the dead war horses. Yeah. Oh, gone it, Bob, when a fellow asks you a question, you tell him too darn much. And now, look here, Hoppy, about me riding back to the bar twice. We'll go together. Uh, right now? When we finish here. Uh-oh. And when we do go, Good I... evening, gentlemen. Well, what is... Uh, what is this? I startled you, I'm sorry, but I thought it my duty to warn you. Who the devil are you? Let me introduce myself. I am Jared Stone, at your service. And if you should meet with any uh, fatal mishap while visiting my canyon... You live here? Certainly. This is my home. I'm quite safe here. It has been my home for a number of months. But it might not be safe for you. So if you left and returned another time... Perhaps, We're staying. Well, that's up to you, of course. Unpack our gear, California. We'll make camp. It'll soon be dark. <laughs> Hoppy, you wait. Sure. What's up? Where's Bob? Here I am. Something happened? Something terrible. I've been having dreams. What were they, California? Huh? Don't you know? You were in them. Say, what was that? You hear something? I, I, I thought I did. I... Hold it. I hear something, too. Them dead red. Quiet. Come on, into the saddle. We're... Gentlemen. What uh -oh. I... Who? Do not uh... move. I have a gun here. Disobey and believe me, I shall use it. What's the idea? Your own welfare, sir. If you rode now, it would be only to meet your death. I may hold you here against your will, sir, but it is for your own good. You, sir. Hush. <laughs> Ah, now you are safe. If Why, you... bless your hide, you weebly old longhorn. Forget it, California. California, the damage is done now. We couldn't follow those fellows. We wanted to. It's too dark. We better turn in again. We can have a look over there in the morning. Hey, what was that? It sounded like Molly. It was Molly. Come on. Molly, where are you? What's the matter? Molly! Molly! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Wet Deep and Dry Bones. Hopalong Cassidy's first night in Massacre Canyon has brought him more excitement than he had expected. First, he was treated to the sound of the dead Pawnee warriors, who were said to rise at night and engage in ghostly maneuvers. This was followed by a piercing scream from out of the night. And now, Hoppy, Bob Travis, and California are running toward its source. Molly, is, is that you? Where are you? There she is, Hoppy. I see her. <laughs> Molly, Molly, what is it? What, what happened? Can't you talk, Molly? Are, are you hurt? It looked to me like you'd been hurt, Hoppy. It was more like a scare. That's what I think. It wasn't the Indians that frightened her. They were gone by the time she screamed. Try to pull yourself together, Molly. What is it? Try to try to tell us. I can't. Oh, I can't, Hoppy. You have to tell us, Molly. You have to. No, let her alone, Bob. But I... She meant what she said. She can't. We'll look after her. Perhaps she can tell us in the morning. Rob Pyle! Come and get her or throw it away. Just a minute, California. Be right with you. Hoppy, I saw you talking to Molly. Where is she? That stream over there. She's washing up. Oh? Did she tell you anything about last night? She thought she saw Dave. What? Actually, she isn't sure of what she saw. Said when she tried to get his attention, he just faded away. Well, what was she doing here? She explained that. Said she started home and suddenly felt she couldn't go back. 
But she had to find out what was happening. She reached the canyon soon after we did. I gather she was on her way to our campfire when the sound of those Indians stopped her. Uh, there's too much going on in this canyon, Hoppy. Too much I don't like. That's the way I feel, Bob. Uh, we've got a job to do, and we have to finish it. What do we do now? Uh, dig into California's grub, I guess. And after that... Yeah? We'll leave Molly to look after our camp while we go see what signs those redskins left. Here's where the were, Hoppy. Uh-huh. Pack of ghost California looks to me like they left plenty of sign. Hold it, Hoppy. Here comes our cadaverous friend with the side whiskers. Cheerful looking cuss. Keep your eye on it, Bob. You'll bear watching. Yeah. That's my opinion. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi. Yeah. Howdy. May I ask what you're doing so early this fine morning? We might ask the same thing. In fact, I think we will. What are you doing? <laughs> I consider you my guest. I'm looking after your welfare. I thought you did enough of that last night. You may take a lot of looking after, my friends. But I see you're studying tracks. Do you make anything of these? What would you make of them? Why, these tracks are cloven hooves. The devil made them. <laughs> Could be. But then cows also have cloven hooves. And from the looks of things, there must have been plenty of them running hard, too. I... What's the matter? I see something. You fellas stay here. I think I'll do a little investigating. Say, Bob, uh, where'd Hoppy go? He rode in among them rocks. If he isn't back darn soon, I'm going in after him. This isn't one of your tricks, is it? I know nothing about it. I'm just as much in ignorance as you gentlemen are. Well, wait, Bob. Here he comes now. Hey, Hoppy, what did you find? Plenty, Bob. I found Dave. What? Really? I've got to see him. Now, hold it, Bob. But... Listen to me. You don't want to see him. Oh? He... He's dead, huh? Don't say anything to Molly. Better let me tell her. All right, Hoppy. That's sure okay with me. Now, listen, Hoppy, I ain't joking anymore. I say we ought to get out of this canyon and get out fast. If we don't, the same thing can happen to us. That's what I think. Uh, you mean uh, you, you're willing to go? Right now. Yippee! You and Bob start back to camp. I'll be with you just in a minute. I want to talk to Stone here first. We'll start packing. Do that. Come on, Bob. Right. Come on, boy. Get up. Come on. Well, Mr. Stone? Well, Mr. Cassidy? I think it's about time you did some talking. I've looked around your camp. I have a good idea what you're here for. As for the rest of this, well, I think you've got deeper into something unpleasant than you'd planned on. If you have anything to say, you'd better say it now. Or haven't you? Mr. Cassidy. Well? I'm sorry. I have nothing to say. You'd better think it over. Come on, Topper. Adios, and remember what I said. Think it over. All packed, California? All set, Hoppy. You ready, Molly? I'm ready, Hoppy. Good, we'll get started. Wait. What did you say to Stone, Hoppy? I asked him if he was ready to talk. He claimed he wasn't. But when he thinks it over, I believe he will. We'll soon have action, Bob, and when we do, I think we'll have action aplenty. Come on, let's go. Come on, get him. What are we stopping for, Hoppy? This is where we separate. Separate? But we just left the canyon, Hoppy. What the... Leaving the canyon was just for Stone's benefit. Bob, uh, What do you mean, Hoppy? I wanted him to think we'd gone, but we're not. You and California and I are going back, but we're circling and entering the canyon from the other end. But what about me? You're riding to your ranch, Bob, and coming back with all your men. You're riding there fast and riding back faster. But I... Now get going. I'll explain when you get back. Okay, Hoppy. I'll be back before you know it. Come on, boy. If you come with us, you'll take orders and be careful, Molly? I'll be careful, Hoppy. And I'll take orders. Good. And let's get back there. It'll soon be dark. Come on. Yeah. There's Stone. 
by his campfire. Molly, come along, but stay behind us. Okay. Come on, California. We'll take him by surprise if we can. Right, Hoppy. Uh, you go ahead. Stone. Huh? Oh. All right, Stone, we've come back. You're lucky we came back and not someone else. Now you'd better talk. You oh, but you... I want to talk. I will talk. You don't understand, Mr. Cassidy. No, I don't understand, but I want to. Start at the beginning. What are you doing here? Mr. Cassidy, I'm an archaeologist. I came here to study these cliff dwellings. <laughs> what? What did that? What did that? Hoppy, he shot. Now, he'll keep. Come on, we've got to find out where that shot came from. Hoppy, look at there. Bob. How, how'd he get here? I thought he was on his way to the ranch. What? Uh... Wait. I want to see if he's alive. Is he? He's alive, all right. But look here. Hey, there's a bump in his head the size of a hen's egg. Uh, but I don't get this, Hoppy. Who hit him? Who fired that shot? Who brought him here? Who hit Bob? Who fired that shot? Who brought him? <laughs> That's what you'll soon find out. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Wet Beef and Dry Bones. Uh, the doggone wolves. Uh, wish they'd shut up. Uh, where do you want me to put Bob, Hoppy? Put him down right there. I think he's coming, too. Yeah. Uh, there. How's your patient, Molly? I think Mr. Stone's all right, Hoppy. He just got a flesh wound. I'm sure I'm not hurt seriously, Mr. Cassidy. At least I don't feel as if I've been. Ah, you're lucky. You'd have been dead by now if someone hadn't hit Bob just when he shot at you. Bob shot at me? Of course he did. And when he gets tired of pretending that he's still unconscious, he'll be ready to admit it. Better come out of it, Bob. We can wait as long as you can, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. I never tried to shoot anybody. Oh, now your gun tells a different story. You see, you fell right into my trap, Bob. What trap? You wanted to come back here and shut Stone up, didn't you? We gave you the chance to come back and try. Stone, you said you're an archaeologist, didn't you? <laughs> That's right. I'm... Uh... Here to study these cliff dwellings. Yes, but I wanted to keep my findings secret until my book is published. I happened to mention it to Mr. Travis once, and he said he'd help me out by reviving all those old legends about the canyon. I... Well, I, I thought it was all sort of a joke. I certainly didn't know that anyone was going to be killed on my account. No one was. Not on your account, anyway. Bob's been using this canyon for stolen cattle. It was his men made those noises like Indians last night. You were just the ghost. But I thought... You that... thought there'd been no rustling, Molly. Because no ranchers had complained. Naturally not. These were wet cattle brought across the Rio from Mexico. The losers were Mexican owners. Oh. And besides... Wait a second. You're talking a lot, Cassidy. But I'd like to see you prove all this. All right, Bob. Come and show him, Dave. Bob doesn't believe me. Sure thing, Hoppy. I'm the man that can prove it, Bob. Dave. But I thought that... You thought you'd kill him. Only you hadn't. He lived to knock you out when you tried to kill Stone. You Hoppy, certainly... watch out! You won't get me! <laughs> A little too slow, Bob. He's all yours, Dave. Take him home and hang him high. That'll mark the end of the legend of Massacre Canyon. Well, Hoppy certainly put an end to that ghost tale, The Legend of Massacre Canyon. Black Grass Fever is the title of Hoppy's next yarn and concerns the story about a gentleman gambler, a swindling banker, and Hoppy almost landing in jail. So be sure to listen to the next thrilling episode of Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Wet Beef and Dry Bones was written by Gibson Scott Fox. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>